FIFA 23 is just round the corner. Here is what we know about the meta so far. The days of AI blocks are gone, which means shooting inside the box is broken, but in a good way. We are so used to getting the ball into the box, and next thing you know, it's block, block, block coming out from absolutely everywhere. Now you are rewarded when getting into the box, into the shooting position and getting that shot off. The outside of the boot passes and shot is very strong on FIFA 23. It allows for you to shoot from angles not possible before. Making Modric S passes through the middle and even bringing players with a poor weak foot into that team selection. The way you do this is to hold L2 or LT when passing or shooting. This is particularly particularly broken with outside the box shots. The new heel to heel role implemented is a great way for you to beat your players and the opponent. Faking one way and going the other, Mbappe will literally fly past defenders with this skill move. Make sure you've nailed it very early on on FIFA 23. We've entered a new era of FIFA with the power shot. Holding down L1 and R1 while shooting will see your player wind up a powerful shot. Be sure to go and get a cup of tea while it's doing this because it does take a very, very long time. But once you get that shot off, it is extremely powerful and effective. Do note that the shot actually is manual, so you do need to aim at the goal. If you're aiming towards the corner flag, it is going to go there. And also, you can turn off the stupid zoom-in power shot thing in the settings. Fear not if you can't manually press a ball. Running press on heavy touch, press on possession loss, or team press is broken. Why? Well, first of all, the game presses for you which is mad. Also, you have five substitutions, meaning player stamina really doesn't mean as much. Sure, your defenders may get a little bit tired, but who cares when Davies is pressing the opponent's fullback every two seconds and you keep scoring goal after goal after goal. The joys of whipping the ball into big Peter Crouch for the header is well and truly alive on FIFA 23. Crossing is overpowered when whipping the ball from deep as the defenders really struggle to get the right side of the attacker to deal with it. For people that can't finish their dinner, fear not, finishing in a one v1 scenario is now consistent on fifa 23 normal shots are your best friend hitting it across the body the finesse can work on occasions in 1v1 but be mindful of this one penalties are the absolute easiest they have ever been with the implementation of the new composure ring it is literally impossible to miss as long as you time it correctly, which it really isn't hard to do. So the days of losing that foot champs match in a penalty shootout because you missed the target completely are over. Have you ever wanted to be rewarded for a strong slide tackle? Well, now you can. The hard slide tackle is so strong, it's actually a great way to defend when the player is bursting through, trying to use that pace, get that slide tackle in, come out with the ball. EA changed the chemistry system on FIFA 23 along with chemistry styles to get a full understanding of how it works, click this video here.